Lebanon is facing a critical moment. Tensions are soaring after recent events involving Israel and Hezbollah. In response to the escalating situation, France has issued an urgent advisory. French citizens are being strongly urged to leave Lebanon as quickly as possible. This decision underscores the seriousness of the situation. France, like many other countries, is deeply concerned about the safety of its citizens abroad. The situation in Lebanon is volatile and unpredictable, prompting swift action from Paris. The French government is actively working to facilitate the safe departure of its citizens. They are coordinating flights and providing logistical support. The message is clear. The situation is too risky and leaving is the safest course of action. The current crisis was sparked by the targeted killings of senior Hezbollah and Hamas leaders. These assassinations, attributed to Israel, have ignited a firestorm of anger and retaliation. Hezbollah, a powerful political and military force in Lebanon, has vowed revenge. Israel, for its part, maintains that it acted to prevent imminent threats. The Jewish state has long viewed Hezbollah as a dangerous terrorist organization. This latest escalation marks a significant turning point in the already tense relationship between the two. The region now braces itself for further violence. Hezbollah has responded with rocket fire into Israel. Israel, in turn, has launched airstrikes against targets in Lebanon. The cycle of violence threatens to spiral out of control. To understand the gravity of the current situation, it's crucial to examine the historical backdrop. Israel and Hezbollah have been locked in a bitter conflict for decades. The two sides have fought numerous wars and skirmishes. Hezbollah, meaning party of God in Arabic, emerged in the 1980s during the Lebanese civil war. Backed by Iran, Hezbollah is committed to the destruction of Israel. The group has established a stronghold in southern Lebanon, from where it launches attacks on Israel. Israel views Hezbollah's presence on its northern border as an existential threat. The Israeli Defense Forces have carried out numerous operations against Hezbollah, aiming to degrade its capabilities and deter future attacks. The conflict has resulted in significant casualties on both sides. The international community has reacted with alarm to the escalating violence in the Middle East. Governments around the world are urging restraint and calling for a de-escalation of hostilities. The United Nations is actively engaged in diplomatic efforts to prevent a wider conflict. Several countries, echoing France's concerns, have issued travel warnings for Lebanon. The United Kingdom has advised its citizens against all but essential travel to the country. The United States has also urged its citizens to reconsider travel plans to Lebanon due to the heightened security risks. Sweden, too, has joined the chorus of caution, advising its citizens to avoid all travel to Lebanon. These advisories reflect the growing international concern about the deteriorating security situation and the potential for further violence. Lebanon at a crossroads. The stakes are high. For Lebanon, this crisis comes at a particularly precarious time. The country is already grappling with a multitude of challenges, including a severe economic crisis, political instability, and the aftermath of the devastating Beirut port explosion in 2020. The renewed conflict with Israel threatens to exacerbate these existing problems. The Lebanese people are caught in the crossfire, facing the prospect of further displacement, economic hardship and loss of life. The country's fragile infrastructure is ill-equipped to cope with another major conflict. The international community is watching closely, 
concerned about the potential for Lebanon to become a failed state. The country's stability is crucial for the entire region, and its collapse would have far-reaching consequences. A region on edge. Wider implications. The escalating tensions between Israel and Hezbollah have sent shockwaves throughout the Middle East. The region is already fraught with conflicts and rivalries, and this latest crisis threatens to ignite a wider conflagration. Iran, Hezbollah's main backer, has condemned Israel's actions and vowed to support its allies in Lebanon. The possibility of Iranian involvement in the conflict is a major concern for Israel and its allies, including the United States. The conflict also has the potential to spill over into neighboring Syria, where both Israel and Iran are actively involved. The Syrian civil war has already created a volatile security environment, and any escalation in Lebanon could further destabilize the region. As the situation in Lebanon unfolds, many uncertainties remain. The path ahead is shrouded in fog, and it's difficult to predict how the situation will evolve. The coming days will be critical. Will Hezbollah escalate the conflict further? They've launched attacks on Israel, but will they engage in full-blown war? Hezbollah's actions depend on its capabilities, Iran's support, and international response. How will Israel respond to provocations? Israel is willing to use force, but mindful of wider conflict risks. Amidst the escalating tensions, there have been some glimmers of hope. Diplomatic efforts are underway to de-escalate the situation and prevent a wider conflict. The United Nations, regional powers, and international actors are all engaged in talks. France, in particular, has been playing an active role in trying to mediate between the parties. French President Emmanuel Macron has spoken with leaders from Lebanon, Israel, and Iran, urging restraint and dialogue. France has a long history of involvement in Lebanon and maintains close ties with the country. While these diplomatic efforts offer a glimmer of hope, it remains to be seen whether they will be successful. The situation is extremely complex and there are many obstacles to overcome. Mistrust between the parties runs deep and the potential for miscalculation is high. As always, it is ordinary people who bear the brunt of conflict. The escalating violence in Lebanon has already resulted in civilian casualties and the humanitarian situation is deteriorating rapidly. Thousands of people have been displaced from their homes seeking refuge in safer areas. The Lebanese Red Cross and other humanitarian organizations are working tirelessly to provide assistance to those in need. They are distributing food, water, and medical supplies to displaced families and those affected by the violence. However, their efforts are hampered by the ongoing insecurity and the lack of access to conflict zones. The international community must step up its support for Lebanon and provide urgent humanitarian assistance to those affected by the crisis. The priority must be to alleviate the suffering of innocent civilians and prevent a humanitarian catastrophe. The path forward in Lebanon remains uncertain. The situation is volatile and the risk of further escalation remains high. The coming weeks will be critical in determining whether the crisis can be contained or spiral into a wider conflict. The international community must remain engaged in seeking a peaceful resolution. This requires sustained diplomatic efforts and a commitment to dialogue. Addressing the underlying causes of the conflict is essential. Ultimately, Lebanon's future depends on its leaders' choices and international actions. The stakes are high, 
and failure would be devastating. The world must support Lebanon and work towards lasting